now bottom of the Scottish second division. But they went into this match dreaming of emulating their 1967 counterparts who famously defeated Rangers on the banks of the Tweed. For the first 45 minutes, Berwick were a match for anything Rangers could throw at them, which apart from this Torre Andre flow effort was precious little. The home side even caused a few anxious moments for their illustrious visitors, but it remained goalless at half-time. Berwick rarely emerged from their own half after the interval, but the mighty Rangers rarely looked like scoring. Neil McCann's chance at the death, perhaps the closest they came to settling it on the night, though it must be said that Berwick keeper Willie McCulloch never put a foot wrong. Probably the greatest uh, result in the history of the Tenants Scottish Cup since Inverness Cali beat Celtic. I think that's about the best way of summing up. I'm absolutely over the moon for Paul Smith, the players, the directors, and most of all, the supporters of this football club. So, a famous draw for the part-timers who've earned a lucrative replay at Ibrox next Monday. And if Rangers are as unconvincing again, Berwick could just go one better. Goals all coming in 10 second half minutes. Well, Rangers had to wait until 12 minutes after the interval to break the deadlock. Lorenzo Amoruso with the free kick. 149 minutes of that tie before they could score. Eight minutes later, 2-0, another free kick. Barry Ferguson setting up Bert Contraman. Two minutes later, Rangers wrapped up the victory. Shot at Arvaladze with the goal there from 25 yards out. Rangers will face Alec McLeish's old side Hibernian in the next round.